Afternoon folks and welcome back to the WTF. Thought I'd give you a quick update video on how we're progressing with the LG uh, 300 uh, power supply and modulator unit and uh, I'll have to say that it's been a bit mixed and uh, we've made we've, we've done some work on it uh, but had a few hiccups on the way so I'm going to quickly show what we've done so far. So as you can see this is where we are with the LG 300 power supply and modulator unit and it's uh, it's progressed reasonably well parts of it work part of it don't uh, as one normally expects with these sort of things it's uh, things that never quite go according to plan anyhow so the unit as you can see here which I've built up pretty well built everything on here in term, including the the chassis which I'll show you just move it on the round a little bit so if you look at the top there the top deck of this unit this is the high voltage power supply and we've got all our smoothing capacitors and there's another smaller transformer which supplies the 300 volts uh, for the RF deck and we've got a VR150 uh, 150 volt reg regulator, voltage regulator for the uh, VFO. Uh, the underneath of the power supply, although it looks a bit complicated, is uh, not too uh, overly sophisticated. I'll just point out a couple of things. You wouldn't really have been able to see this had I uh, put the modulator in place. So we've got this is a little soft start unit for the uh, very high voltage, the 1300-1200 volts for the PA of the 813 and then that's just a smaller HD transformer we've got a couple of relays which are for switching in the mains when we key the transmitter I've got this nice chunky resistor there which is a dropping resistor for the HT um, HT2 I should say uh, because offload it's about 442 volts, it needs to be about 300, so that resistor drops everything down to about 300 volts. We've got, if I can just get into focus. So that board, that, the blue board is the basic power supply board for the HT2 supply, the 300 volt supply, and we've got a vacuum relay here and the purpose of this is to short out the secondary of the modulation transformer when we're in CW mode and uh, I've used a vacuum relay because I've had problems before with conventional relays which uh, can be a bit prone to arcing it on you know on the peaks of modulation especially if you're using HT voltages above a thousand volts I mean, you might be able to get away with a standard relay, but um, I have previous experience, I, I've I've had issues, so I'd rather put a vacuum relay in there. And other than that, that's about it. There's the base of the VR150, the voltage regulator, and that's more or less it for the underneath of the power supply. That deck down there was supposed to be the modulator, which uh, we've had some. Uh, major problems with in trying to sort out the rest of it works I've tested the high voltage supplies and I've actually tested it on the RF deck and so that's actually all working I did have a few issues with it uh, the 813 unfortunately had a grid to cathode short and I was losing all my drive but once I sorted that out uh, by swapping the tube and also there was a grid leak resistor which was a bit on the high side once I dealt with that the RF deck actually works okay now so the problem that we've got at the moment is the modulator now you may recall from the first video that I did the plan was to use this burn debt transformer uh, with the MOSFET audio amplifier unit that's a 200 watt audio amplifier unit apparently and use that to drive the low impedance winding of this special burned out mod transformer 
which would then obviously modulate the, the HT supply. Now, I think that this mod transformer is a bit iffy because I built all this up. In fact, uh, I've lost it at the moment. I can't find it. It's down here somewhere. But anyway, I built all this up. And I installed everything in there, including the power supply for the audio amplifier. And unfortunately, could not get it to modulate the uh, high voltage. So I did a few tests and I think that this transformer unfortunately may well be faulty which is a bit of a pain because they well these particular type types of mod, mod trannies are really difficult to find. So uh, that leaves us with the problem of we haven't got, we've got a transmitter, a power supply, and we haven't got a modulator. So what I've been thinking, I've got a Woden UM3 here. I've got a couple of these. Um, I think this one is one that's okay. I think one of them possibly might be a bit faulty, but I think I have used this one before and I think it's okay. And I've got another transformer here uh, for 500 volts. So what, I'm, what I wanted initially was to try and put or mount the modulator with some valves. I'm going to build up a uh, modulator, about 50 watt modulator with a pair of 807s and I wanted to try and see if I could get it on here but it's no, it's no way it's going to fit. Uh, that mod tranny is too big and the power supply and plus the valves, it's, it's just not going to fit in there. So what I've decided to do is to build up a separate modulator unit and as you can see here, I've been busy uh, drawing out the outlines of the transformers and everything on the chassis and I'll start cutting all this up. This is just one of those Hammond chassis which uh, you can buy quite easily. So I'm going to mount my modulation transformers here. It's going to be uh, two 807s uh, connected to that mod transformer. Or the, the Woden UM3 and uh, I think a couple of double triodes one for the speech amplifier and then one for the phase converter sort of standard modulator arrangement really and hopefully we might be able to get some AM out of this it's a pity it didn't work uh, but sometimes your best laid plans uh, are foiled uh, it's a bit annoying, but but anyhow, I, I believe the history of that burn debt transformer. I think somebody gave it to my friend Ian G six TVJ, and I think the person that he got it from um, uh, got it at a rally. Uh, so, so that's the thing with radio rallies. You can sometimes buy things cheaply there, but you never know whether it's going to work or not. It's always a bit of a punt, I, I guess. Okay, folks, uh, that's really it for the time being. I think the next video hopefully will get this all working with the modulator and we can actually try and use it uh, on the uh, on the VMARS AM net. So that's it for now. Catch you again soon.